What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Snap Walkthrough. Okay, so in our first episode, we got introduced to Professor Oak's, uh, you know, Pokemon Island and all that stuff, and, uh, well, we took a few good pictures. Not my best start to date, but we are going to continue right here with, you know, more pictures and all that stuff. Now, here we are going into the next course, and that is the tunnel. There used to be a power plant in this long, dark tunnel. I can't wait to check it out. Alrighty, let's do this. Trust me, guys, this is gonna be a uh, this is gonna be a quick one right here. Now there are Pokemon that you've taken pictures before that you know you'll probably take pictures again. And look at that, I took a bad picture of Pikachu. And this is where you know eventually you're gonna start to see that you know some of these pictures are better if you use equipment and all that stuff. Uh, again. I did put in a background right here for you guys. That way you guys can see where, what level we're in and what Pokemon you can actually find in this in this whole place. And I'm going to take... God dang it. You see, I'm not very coordinated with this. There we go. Got Kakuna. And... There we go. Now, the business with Kakuna is... If you make an Electrode explode, it will come down a little quicker and a little closer and all that crud. So I'm not going to take a picture of this guy. And, yeah, Zube is usually the one that's, like, very, very hard to actually take a picture of. Do not know why. Just hate it. And here we have another picture of Pikachu. Do not care. And, as you can see, there is a sign right there. Eventually, you're going to have to use that sign. But this is uh, something else that you're just looking at. And I can't get it right now. So I'm going to take a picture right here. There we go. Take a picture of Magikarp. And... Again, another picture of Zubat right here. There we go. Now, as you can see, there is a, a little puff of smoke right there. As I mentioned in the last episode, there are certain Pokemon that you have to take a picture dead center in order for in order to identify it or, you know, to start something new with it, you know. And as you can see, here's another Pokemon, Diglett. If you take a picture down the middle of it, you'll actually... You'll actually attract it to... Well, you'll actually make it go further and further until finally... Boom, boom. You'll find these guys right here. Look at that. Okay, so enough of that. And here we have Electabuzzes. You know, not going to take a picture of that because I guess it's frowned upon to take pictures, you know, backwards and all that stuff. Oh, damn. This is turning out to be a very, very quick episode. I do not know why. But as you can see, here are Magnemites. Now, if, you, if you've if you been wanting to take a picture of Magnemites at the beginning, they're going to be using Supersonic right here in order for you to not... Or Thunder Wave in order for you to not, you know, take a picture of them. Now, you could go close, and they could attach themselves together, but that's never going to work out right there. So, look at this. They're attached together, but they're still going to use Thunder Wave. You won't be able to see anything right there. So there's going to have to be another way in order to get these uh, uh, these Magnemites to just, you know, attract to each other and then allow them or allow you to take pictures of, of them and all that stuff. So that is the end of this little uh, excursion right here. Now it is time for us to just move on and, uh, and see what's up right here. So here we are back into the camera check tunnel course. And, well, look at this. We're getting so many pictures. Yeah, we need, <laughs> damn near took a lot of them. Now, after taking pictures at the tunnel course, you will be introduced into the album mark. Right there, you can actually pick out pictures that you like to save them into your album right here. Now, I've already taken pictures of Pikachu. That is not needed. But that could work because it's right down the middle now. This is taking us further and further beyond right here. So, let's see. Electabuzz. Yeah, that's not going to work. This one's going to work because he's face forward and all that stuff. Mag Electrode, of course. I could use this one, self-destructing one. Any any pictures that you've taken that involve a Pokemon move and all that stuff, guys, it could be beneficial. Could give you extra points and all that. And, well, I'm going to take a picture. Oh, I'm going to take that. And Zubat's usually the, the Pokemon that's like really, really hard to take. That's a perfect picture right there. So I'm going to go with this one right here. And, well, let's see. Of course, Magikarp has to be a dick. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're gonna have to go with this one right here. Again, you can actually find Magikarp everywhere you go. Now, here is a Pokemon that you actually can find if you take a picture dead dead in the middle. That little bowl, uh, ball of uh, smoke happened to be none other than Haunter. And, well, we're gonna go with this one right here. And, let's see. We got Diglets, Diglets, Diglets. I would, I would like it if it, it was right there next to Pikachu, but... Yeah, we'll go with this one right here. And... Alright, this one's good, and... That is pretty much it, so let's... Let's reveal our fate right here and see if uh, Professor Oak hates us or not. So, let's go with Electabuzz. Size is okay, we're getting some good points, and look at that. We got ourselves a good... Good uh, number right there. Now, here's Electrode. You are close. Oh, wow. So, self-destructing electro Electrode didn't work, and it's our worst number right there. So, here we go with Kakuna. There we go. And look at that. We got more points out of that. And Zubat. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. Okay, so we got a good score on that. That means I don't have to bother taking another picture of this guy. And it looks like this Pikachu picture is not going to work. Yeah. All right. Never mind. One can try, and here we go with the Magikarp. Look at this, look at that, and we get double the score. And here we have Haunter. Oh, yes, more points. That is right, more points. And Diglett looking up in the sky right there, getting a little closer, and bam, 3280. And Doug Trio, let's see. There we go, and double for that one. Okay, so we got a good trip right there, and after you do that, guys, Professor Oak will ask you to go back to the lab right here. And, well, he's going to be like, welcome back. You take pictures at a good pace. A to make your work you. easier, here is a present for you. It will come in handy for taking Pokemon pictures. Would you like, uh, would you like to be closer to a Pokemon? Then use this apple-shaped Pokemon food. It's easy to use when you are not focusing your camera. Press A to throw it. Pokemon in a distance will happily come closer when you use this item. If you want to throw it farther, look up slightly, then throw. Here's a hint for you. Throw some Pokemon food at, to an electrode that is not moving. And then see what happens. Good luck, Draven. And, well, we're not going to explain that again. And yes, look at that. There's an apple down there. It's just like a... You know, it's just like our regular walkthrough games right here. You're going to get a new item every single time. I'm really, really trying my best to make this walkthrough a little bit better. So, that is not the end of the episode right here, guys. We still have to go straight to the tunnel. So, we're going to go again and take even better pictures. Because, uh, I guess my worst picture happens to be an electrode picture. So, alrighty. Let's do this. Let's move Pikachu. Look at that. He's, uh, he's attracted to these, uh, these... The heck? Oh, come on, Pikachu. Really? Okay, hold on. Retry. <laughs> Try. So, uh, do as I say, not do as I do, I guess, guys. What the hell? Come on, Pikachu! Okay, so... <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, so it looks like Pikachu is not following those, uh... Yeah, it's not following that. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, let's prevent this guy from self-destructing on him. There we go. Like the buzz. Good. Okay. Hmm. I wonder how. I wonder how we get Pikachu over there. You know what? Let's retry this again. Third time is the charm, guys. Okay. How about this? Okay. How about this? Okay. There we go. So this will activate Pikachu getting on top of Electro Electrode right here. As you can see, this is one of the few Pikachu-centric kind of events that, you know, gets Pikachu more points. Or any picture with Pikachu with more points. Now, I'm going to make sure this guy doesn't hit, get it to self-destruct on anything. So, stop, stop, stop. Ah! We're getting close to this guy. Super close. Look at that. Self-destruct. And no dice. Look at that. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a very good picture of this guy. And... There we go. And let's do that. And do that. Huh. 
Okay, I thought... I seriously thought Kakuna was going to hit me and everything. Now, here we are in the next layer right here. Now, this is the Pikachu that follows the, uh, the apple right here. Now, unfortunately, we can't do anything about this egg right here until now. or well, until later on. But... And like I mentioned earlier, you can actually go right here. You can actually see that there is a bit of a hint for you to actually get a very, very good picture. And look at that. Okay, I'm getting a good, a good picture of uh, or a magic carp and whatnot. And, well, I don't need to do anything right there. What I need to do is take a very, very good shot of uh, Electabuzz. Now, if you go right here and hit Electabuzz, he's going to get a little mad. And this guy right here is going to lead a, uh, a little bit of a hint right there, which we've already figured out. Now, what does this guy do? There we go. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a picture of him actually using his Thunder Punch. There is the next one, the next hint. If you throw an apple to a Magnemite, you will actually get this Magnemite to stop using Thunder Wave. Now... We're not going to do that right here in this episode. We're going to save that for later on because I kind of want to save some Pokemon for that 10th episode. There was a hint that, you know, go try and throw a, a, a Poke Food at it, the Electro that is not moving. We've already hit two. Let's go ahead and hit this guy right here and see what ends up happening. I, of course, I'm not, a, I'm not a quarterback right here. Never was, never will be. And there we go. He's exploding and bam. We go into a cutscene and we stop our brakes. Holy crud, what is going on? Oh damn. And there we go. So as you can see guys, we've just made it into the next dimension. Not really, but you know what I mean. So here we are in the tunnel course. We took a buttload of pictures, much more better pictures. Did it in three retries and all that stuff. And this is probably the best one right here. And, well, there's Electrode. You know what? Let's go with that one. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's see. Electabuzz. Yeah, we're not going to get extra points for that. We got to go with, like, we got to go with something spectacular. That one is actually good. Looking straight at us and all that crud. And, well, there's a few Magikarp pictures. That one looks better. You can actually see its face. And we're going to go straight to Professor Oak and see what's up right here. So, here we are in Professor Oak's lab, and... Wow, isn't this Pikachu on a ball? Yes, it is. Look at that. 600 already. And, wow, we are smoking the crap out of the last picture. And that is now our best picture. Now, here we go with Electrode on the bottom. And, look at that. We just smoked our last one. Blew it away. There's another Pokemon there. That's not another Electro. What the hell are you talking about, man? How could you see that? Okay, well, he saw it by the corner. That's pretty... He's got a keen eye for that. And, well, look at this. Look at that. And... Oh, wow. <laughs> so we got the same score. I like this one better because we can actually see what kind of a Pokemon it is. And here we have Electabuzz. So now, look at that. We're actually competing and yes we do a little bit better on this last picture and because of that little event that we just did bam wait draven let's return to the lab okay we are returning to the lab and professor oak's like draven you found a split in a path according to my research that split should link to the new uh the new course i've also made a link from my lab you should go right away we will in the next episode but now let's go right ahead and take a look at what kind of Pokemon pictures do we have? So our best shot, of course, is Pikachu on a ball, 42-40. And we got to make up that whole Eevee thing right here. So let's go ahead and rearrange it to the score. And, well, let's see. Well, some of our best shots are in the tunnel right here. But look at this. We're going lower and lower. And Eevee is our worst shot right there. So that's going to have to change. We will, guys. We will change it. So this pretty much concludes our second episode our sunday episode of pokemon snap now in the next one we will be going into i would like to say the river it's been a while guys it has been a while since i played this game and all that stuff but we will be going into the river and we will be having a lot of fun um again this me splitting this up to a weekend episode is for the purpose of 
you know, getting ready to play the new Pokemon Snap game, which will come out at the end of the month right here. So, again, guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you guys for all your patience, and I will see you guys in the next one. See you guys.